a large company like ours, uh, we certainly do. Uh, it's a full-time job in itself to ensure that all the policies for all diversity constituents are in place, and also to, um, uh, you know, affirm the seriousness of the role and the the vision that a company has. Otherwise, it just remains to be an extra activity with a full-time job, and that just means that it's just an activity good to have and not really a necessity. So at IBM, we are very clear it's a full-time job and to also ensure that all business leaders right from top to uh, uh, you know bottom everybody understands the import importance of being inclusive and diverse. You know, we don't have to be the, the the person in the ancient age when we were living in the caves. We want to be using technology to do well. And now with technology, it's even more important to be more human. Uh, use technology, but don't get used by it, as they say. So it can either be just remain to be artificial intelligence or become our augmented intelligence. What is required with the changing times now, um, uh, by the way, I don't think today's generation is ignorant. Uh, I think they, are, um, they actually know uh, a lot more than us uh, what they want to do in life. Uh, of course, there are, there are gaps, but those can be bridged. I, I do feel that what L&D or any uh, HR firm, HR department should really train people on um, is how to keep changing your skills, how to keep upskilling yourself, how to keep yourself abreast. You can't really, you know, it pro probably in, in our uh, parents' generation, there was a time when they would get into a job and then 40 years they're doing the same job uh, or whatever, you know, time frame, they do the same job and come out of it. Now is not the time. Uh, you have to keep changing your skills, you have to keep upgrading yourself, otherwise you become quite irrelevant. And that's why training, learning organizations have become even more relevant today. To ensure that people learn that today the skill that I have won't work for tomorrow. And also learn to deal with failures. There will be ups and downs of life. You can't really do away with that. So the ability to be resilient to that. And sort of even if you've fallen for some reason, you have the ability to get up and, and start walking and running again.